I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee for the WQA National Convention. Adam Lau, I'm from Wisconsin, Stevens Point to be more specific. I'm on the dealer side. I've been in water treatment for about five years now. We're full service dealers. Uh, since 1950, we've serviced people's water treatment systems. About 89% of our customer base is on private wells. So we've kind of cut our teeth with iron, low pH, just really big water problems. Probably 80% of my employees are dedicated to customer service and out in the field servicing. I've actually started in the water industry doing more of our maintenance and routine service on systems and uh, carrying in the salt, delivering salt, you know, stuff like that. What I've done now that we own the company is I particularly want to take my sales staff that are certified and Adam started out as a service technician for me. And then I actually got more into the water consulting, uh, testing water, giving people options and telling them how to fix their water. So I took Adam under my wing and he's flourishing and to this point I think he likes it. So coming to the WQA, I want him to see that this isn't just a job. It's a growing industry and I know a very, very small portion of it. So like I said, if I learn new things daily uh, back at home, I can only imagine what I'm going to learn here. I don't want him to get too fulfilled with, oh my God, there's too much for me to know. Uh, what I do want him to take away is basically going to be that this is a very, very large industry. And our company's been here for 66 years. And my hope is that he'd like to stick around and make it a career. What I normally see is a very, very small percentage of water treatment. And, and when you go into these national things, I expect to see what other people are doing all across the country. So I'm kind of excited to see that. It's 7.30, we're at the first day of the conventions, all classes today. We're gonna to go to an ice making seminar on uh, purity of ice. We're gonna be heading over to the Nashville Predators Arena, we're gonna go behind the scenes and kind of see how they make ice from basically the bar to the, uh, the rink. So uh, kind of everything involved over there. So. Looking forward to it. It should be a pretty unique opportunity. Like I said, I'm not quite used to uh, dealing with that type of water treatment. The first class that we did today was going from cocktails to hockey. A lot of in-depth chemistry on the making of ice and transitioning from the solid liquid gas phase. So far, Adam's doing really well. He's taken the culture shock of understanding that the majority of the audience is extremely well educated. The questions that are coming out of the audience for the presenters are kind of flooring him a little bit. He was he's expecting the humdrum, how do you make ice, and studies getting chemistry questions and things, and so he's paying attention even to the uh, questions that are being asked. It's a whole new experience for him, and I think he's enjoying it. After the class, I was actually quite surprised on how much I learned um, just about ice. Then we all headed as a group to the Bridgestone Arena, uh, where we started our tour. At Bridgestone, they basically took us deeper and deeper and deeper into the basement. Kept going all the way down until we got to the ice level. Got to see the refrigeration room, where all the coolants were at, compressors that run the coiling underneath the actual arena. And do some Q&A questions, checked out the facilities. It's one o'clock right now. We're gonna be heading to my next class, which is overcoming water treatment designs for dairies. So that should be pretty interesting. We're going to talk real briefly about where a dairy uses water. Adam's doing great. He stayed, made sure he got all his classes in today. And he made a comment to me earlier today, and uh, I think it really started sinking in. He, he turned to me, actually, when we were in class, he had to kind of whisper, and he turned to me and said, hey, this is just like what we do at home. And I like to explain to him, it really is. And he says, well, we, with the exception of the exact same water or some of the things and the way people service, the way people take care of their customers, it, it really is the same thing you've always told me. You know, you think you're the only new new person here. That's not the case. I mean, you have people that are first time attendees like myself or people that are owners of big companies. You know, I mean, it's a very wide spectrum. He's seeing that, you know, the way I do it has been modeled after the way these guys have done it for three, four generations. Coming into it, just like anything new and for most people, it's a little intimidating, but uh, after that fir first class, when you start to talk to people, uh, then you kind of realize that it doesn't matter. If anything, um, they're probably excited to see new people coming. 
he's definitely gaining a sense of belonging um, in the water industry. I mean, we're like a family. It makes you kind of feel validated in what you do. Uh, it makes you realize, like I said, it's not just a sales job. You're actually trying to improve their lives um, from newborns or maybe a new homeowner that's renovated the bathroom. You, you never know how it's going to affect them and what people are looking for. Tomorrow's a new day, new classes, a whole new set of stuff to start to learn. So it's the morning of day two and we're going to be heading to the open session. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to expect, uh, so we'll kind of see what happens. The award ceremony, you see people that have been in the industry for 25, 35, 45 years finally getting some recognition. Most of them have been on committees, volunteering their time away from their regular business to help push forward the agenda of, of our industry. Hey listen, it's been a privilege to be with you here today. I hope you had a couple of quick takeaways. Just came out of the opening general session with the keynote speaker. Brett Tangley, the current president, got a little choked up handing the gavel over, but uh, the keynote speaker was outstanding. So I'm looking forward to heading to the trade show today. This is the big event that we all come for, which is the big, big trade show. The trade show is a lot bigger than I expected. A lot of different types of uh, products too, whether it be softeners, RO systems, uh, even down to pipe manufacturers and tank manufacturers. So it's a good time to be able to just see a lot of different parts of the industry. It's nice to be able to walk around with my boss Sam, who's been to many of these trade shows. He's got a lot of knowledge and knows a lot of people. So getting introduced to his friends and his uh, peers that he's been working with and seeing over the years is always nice. As far as just being able to ask him questions and pick his brain as we go around is definitely an added bonus. I've been kind of introducing Adam to some of the uh, some of the dealers, some of the owners out there, and uh, they've all been in his shoes. They've all got guys that they've had any shoes uh, so they're very accepting giving them advice on what to do what not to do and uh, you know, just overall telling them enjoy it because it's uh, it's an experience to take home So it's the end of day two, about 5.30, we're here at the reception. We're just gonna have some drinks, some appetizers, a lot of small talk, kind of wind down from the day uh, and get ready for tomorrow morning. So it's day three of the convention. This morning I had a uh, events committee to sit in on for about an hour. Then we had our dealer section meeting which uh, generally just gets dealers in there. Lots of questions on topics that pertain basically just to the dealers. After attending this convention, I'm leaving with a newfound excitement for what the future holds. When you attend a convention, it reaffirms your, your commitment to the industry and you look around and you see the wealth of knowledge that's here. If you've never been to a WQA national event, uh, I'd say come. It's, uh, it's, you have so many resources at your hands, it's, uh, it's almost foolish not to take advantage of it. This industry is growing. Every year it's becoming more and more important. So getting time to break away from your day-to-day -day operations and come out and just, just to get away from your normal routine, um, some dealers look at that as precious. So there, there's, there's no one right answer as to what you take away from it. It's what you put into it is what you're gonna get out. So I'm really looking forward to coming back next year, re-meeting the people that I met this year, meeting new people, um, and it, it's exciting. So what the future holds is something to, to be positive about and, and look forward to. It, it just makes you feel proud to be part of this membership. So the one thing we all have in common is we're all trying to make the water the best we possibly can.